hey guys today we are going to talk about an important tool which will help you to do net, uh, natural language processing in NLP task uh, which is called a tokenizer so you may heard of different different tokenizers from different different developers like NLTK maybe hugging face community so uh, this is also from a reputed developer company which is called OpenAI you may heard of OpenAI when we are talking about ChatGPT so uh, ChatGPT is developed by OpenAI similarly this TikTok library yeah the library is called TikTok and this is a tokenizing library so this was developed by uh, OpenAI company OpenAI developers so um, yeah let's do a simple google search uh, tip token library yeah click on the first link so here you can see the repository of their tick token library so click on the readme file yeah uh here it says that's uh, that this is a very fast uh, library for tokenizing uh, so they are representing it with compared to that hugging waste library so yeah we can see that it is quite fast uh, when we are seeing that graph so yeah uh, actually i'm not going to do a demo for this uh, i'll just explain uh, what is tick token and what it can do and um, different different things about tick token library so yeah that's all we are doing so when we are doing a project in later videos so definitely I, I will explain how to use it yeah, for now let's see this so this is the way we use tick token library so the the special th uh, thing about this TikTok library so when we are using with GPT model that means that the G uh, OpenAI API um, the tokenizing is different from uh, a model to model uh, you may know there are different different models like GPT Turbo and GPT-4 uh, GPT-3.5 Turbo and yeah different different models Darwin's model so according to the model that tokenizing tokenizer may be different that means tokenizing way may be different so uh, what this tick token library provides is uh, they provide the tokenizing mechanism which relevant to each and every uh, GPT model that means uh, when we use GPT-4 so in our in our development so we can use this tick token library with GPT uh, which enhanced to which developed for G, uh, GPT-4 model uh, like that so I think you, you can understand it so yeah that is one important thing in this TikTok library and the other thing is the speed actually this is quite speeder than other libraries so yeah that's it so uh, this is a BPE uh, tokenizer that means a BPE tokenizer means uh, when we uh, uh, after we tokenize in this into tokens we can convert this into the original text and actually this is not tokenized uh, into words uh, there is a different methods to tokenize this like uh, when we are when we get a sentence like any sentence so this doesn't separate the sentences into words yeah there is a different mechanism of uh, separating uh, into tokens so i will show you it visually uh, later on this video so yeah uh, this is yeah this is about that tiktok library so you can just read this uh, documentation which is in the uh, tiktok uh, repository so i will publish the link in the video description also and there is some use cases how to use this 
and different different things and yeah that's it so then I will explain how the tokenizer works by using uh, their developer platform yeah let's search like that so uh, yeah uh, yeah this is it so here you can this is for GPT-3 actually so when we're using GPT-4 this is a bit different so this is for GPT-4 uh, here you can mention it actually when we are using it and uh, that uh, specific GPT model so you can mention it here so it differs when we're using GPT-3 you can use by mentioning like GPT-3 here so we have to enter something here so I will just copy this text and paste for my easiness yeah here yeah. I just pasted it so here you can see that there is a 79 tokens but do you think it is actually the word count no I don't think so so word count, count. so yeah we get just a random word counter from google so what is it mm -hmm -hmm. Uh, word counter this is the word counter i think ah yeah that's it so i'll paste the same paragraph that which i have used in this tick token tokenizer in here uh, count words ah you can see that there is only 69 words but here you can see there are there is 79 tokens so obviously we can see that the word is not a token here okay yeah that's it so yeah actually there are different different tokenizers like nlk uh, nltk tokenizers and uh, hugging face tokenizer kind of different different tokenizers which is which works quite well but uh, actually this is also very good tokenizer this uh, tick token tokenizer okay so yeah here it gives uh, how this works and here it says that approximately 75 words equals to thousand tokens it is an approximate count so yeah I think uh, you can understand this and you you have get uh, good understanding on this so yeah uh, that's it for this video so we will meet in another video and yeah goodbye